Welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2019 and a half Forest River Surveyor 251 RKS. This is the new half year model change. If you've watched some of my other videos, you'll understand what I'm referring to, but this will be different from the early 19s that have been out for a while now. Um, on the front, one of the biggest things you're going to notice different is going to be the cap design and the windshield. You're also going to notice it's a Surveyor Luxury now. There's two lines of Surveyors, but this is the Luxury line, and they use that Luxury phrase there to separate it from the lower line. The camper has a power tongue jack with a LED light built in. has the adjustable foot piece on the bottom of it, too. Two 20-pound propane tanks with the hard cover. Room for one or two batteries to go in behind those tanks on the frame there. There's LED running lights up top, on the side, and on the rear. They are all LEDs instead of the old incandescent bulbs that some brands are still using. On the frame down here, they put a little hook down here so you could actually put like a pet on a leash there. That's what that's actually was kind of the thought process behind that to have a place to hook your dog to or something along those lines. They also put a pet bowl thing inside the storage compartment that you'll see when we get around to that. Uh, I put the awning out here so you could kind of see that. It is a power awning with adjustable legs so you can tilt it one way or the other for water runoff. And you can see they have the LED tube light in there. So that is a really nice feature. It's actually on the tube out away from the trailer. So you do also have a porch light over on the side of the trailer. A lot of brands put that LED light strictly up on the side of the camper and they take away the porch light. So you got two options for lighting on the side of the coach. On the front corner here is solar prep. So if you want to do portable solar panels, you can. You're going to notice this storage compartment got larger. They actually went to a drop frame on the front of this, which you will have heard that term on a lot of fifth wheels if you've looked at the fifth wheel videos around. But uh, that is pretty different from the early version. And there you can kind of see the little pet bowl thing. And you can see the LED light there. Now this customer, this camper is actually sold. This customer chose to do a weight distribution hitching. That's the big headpiece there for that weight distribution that you'll see. Um, but there is a couple crank handles there to manually do things in case of electronic failure. Now this one was ordered with the manual heavy duty scissor jacks. You can option in power stabilizers if you want. But this customer wanted the heavy-duty scissors because they do more lifting than just stabilizing. And they're actually a little bit stronger than the electric jacks. And you can see the enclosed underbelly there. That's a nice feature in closing the frame rails and your water tanks and stuff. Just giving it a little extra protection. Now the front door has the triple entrance step. And it is the old-fashioned RV step on the front door. So that does come down folds in and out nice and easy. The back step, however, was ordered with the upgraded more ride step that comes down and touches the ground. That's going to be the main entry door where this front door goes into the bedroom area. You do have a window in the door. It's also got a screen there. Radius top, so in case it uh, does happen to brush against the uh, awning material, it's less likely to damage it. You've got a little handle there going in and out of the bedroom. The back door, however, does have the larger handle. Now, in the middle here is a black tank flush to clean out the toilet system. There's also a outlet here, an electric outlet and TV outlet, if you wanted to set a TV out here on the side. The unit has the upgraded aluminum wheels. And right down below here, you'll see the upgraded Trail Air Suspension System by Equiflex Trail Air. That is a nice little upgrade, kind of acts as a little bit of a shock absorber for the RV axles. Um, you have two outdoor speakers there, deep tent safety glass windows, 
Your rear door again has a window in it and a screen. You can see the nice steps there. It even has a little step light right there. The larger folding entry handle. Another new thing that they've actually started doing on these is the Asdale sidewalls. The fiberglass is glued to a composite material instead of glued to a Luon board. So if it ever leaks, like your window or your door frame, that type of thing were to actually leak, it's less likely to have any uh, rotting issues or delamination issues because it's not actually a wood material, it's a composite material. It's lighter than the Luon used in many brands of campers, and it's less susceptible to damage from water. So that is a really nice improvement. It costs more to build the camper that way, but definitely well worth it in the long run. On the back of the coach, you can see here, it was ordered with the rack on the back, so you can flip that down put a generator on it, put a couple bikes on it, something along those lines. The black panel in the lower corner is your refrigerator access panel for maintenance. The camper is pre-wired for a backup camera up there in the top center, so that is a really cool feature if you want to add that. I would recommend that observation camera. Just above the window there is your stove exhaust for when you're cooking. You do uh, actually exhaust out that smoke and stuff. On the left there, you'll notice the rear ladder. That is technically an option. You do not have to get it if you don't want the extra holes in your camper. But it is a nice feature to help you get up on top of the roof to clean off the slide out or any little debris that might possibly um, fall down on the roof of the camper. It's also good just to kind of get up there every once in a while and check the seals on the roof just to kind of help make sure they don't crack open and start leaking on you. You'll notice that roof also has a nice high arch to it. So you'll see that when we get inside a little bit too, but they arch that roof. It's not a flat roof, so it does have better water runoff than some of the other brands on the market. Bumper on the back, four inch square tube bumper nice and easy place to store your dump hose you have the outside utility shower here which gives you hot and cold water it's great if you have pets to hose them off if they get muddy or if you come back from the beach and you're sandy and dirty you can hose yourself off so pretty cool feature down below here's your water heater six gallon gas electric water heater there is an electric switch right there your uh, heating element here and your drain plug which is an inch and a sixteenth socket right there um, gas side flips on from inside you'll see that when we get in there furnace exhaust there on the left down below here you will see your galley tank dump and low point water drains this has a two dump system there's one strictly here on the rear for the kitchen area can see again the nice enclosed underbelly under there nicely finished off slide outs bottoms as well backing up here a little bit you can kind of see the side a little better and you'll notice the windows again deep tent safety glass windows but they actually open on the sides of the slide a lot of brands put just a solid glass in there and you can't open that uh, window on the side of the slide out so you get Quite a bit of cross breeze coming in and out of the camper there. Right here on the other side of the slide, you will have your city water hookup and your cable inlet for cable and satellite. Down below, you can see your gray and black handle here. You'll also notice, again, nicely finished off underbelly there. You'll see that gray foam, spray foam stuff. They're trying to seal up any gaps to help keep that bottom enclosed and heated. A lot of brands don't do that. They'll tell you it's got an enclosed bottom and then there's a whole bunch of air gaps on the bottom. So that's kind of a nice upgrade. You have your spare tire underneath there. A little more toward the front. You can see that little white line hanging down there. That is your freshwater tank drain. Freshwater tank fill up right there. 
Then on the side here, you will see your stickers for your basic information. Two 3,500 pound axles, plus again, you have hitch weight also. So you have a gross weight of 7768. You have the production date, 824 of 18 was when this camper was actually built. All campers will have this type of sticker somewhere located on it. So you can see how old the camper technically is when you're looking around at a dealer's lot. And your VIN numbers, model numbers, tire size, 225-75R15D range tires on this new unit, 65 PSI. But that kind of give you some of the basic ins and outs of the stuff right there on those stickers. Then they will have a dry weight located usually on this sticker here for most Forest River products. And sometimes on the entry door sticker too. But right here it says 5,726 pounds. So you have almost a 2,000 pound capacity between the hitch weight and the axle weight of the coach. So you can pack quite a bit of stuff in there for your weekend trips. Or if you're an extended stay person, this is great for that too. We're going to go around to the inside of the coach. Again, my name's Ray. If you're interested in purchasing one, please feel free to give me a call. Toll-free number 888-417-8299. My extension's 203. You can check out more of our campers online at couchesrvnation.com. Again, new half-year model change. So we're inside now, and you are seeing some of the new stuff. Wood color change. So this is going to be a bit different from what you've seen previously. The new Furion oven. Countertops also changed. Floor color did change. All right, quite a bit of counter space here. Again, rear kitchen model. So you have room to set your toaster, coffee pots, things like that. Kind of do what you need to do there. There's an electric outlet on the side of that uh, counter there. But then there is also another one. It's kind of hidden, but it's back in the corner there. So you have two electric outlets to plug things in here at the counter. the high-rise pull-out sprayer faucet and you have sink covers here these are just basically plastic sink covers little cutting boards you've got one large sink there under mount stainless sink the stove again new fury on stove so you have the glass door which has a light in it has the backlit uh, knobs and stuff there, and you can turn those on and off. They do a little pull-out drawer down here. It's good for some of your pots and pans, but they kind of put a stove front look to that. So it's kind of neat, a little different. Down below the refrigerator there is your electric box with your breakers and fuses. This unit was ordered with the 6.3 cubic foot Dometic gas and electric refrigerator so it works on propane or electricity some brands and different customers are wanting things with the residential style that only work on electric and battery power so this is what the gas electric version looks like if you wanted to do this version standard microwave hood range basically the same there do have a pretty good depth in these cabinets so plenty of room for plates and your dishes and stuff to all go up here you'll notice too the nicer hardware here they are the recessed hinges on the cabinet doors so it gives it a cleaner look Full extending ball bearing drawer guides.
nice window view out the back and even the side so if you are in here cooking doing dishes things like that you still kind of get a nice feel of being able to see outside and see a little bit of what's going on u-shaped dinette that does go down and make into a bed some overhead cabinets above there have backlighting inside of them there's an on off switch for that you can see the two-tone woodworking on the slide out that's new and that lighter gray color is actually what you're gonna see when we go into the bathroom that is a little bit different flip this door closed here you can see your Jensen 32 inch flat screen TV sound bar down below there some storage and cabinetry also notice the nice arch to the roof might be a little hard to tell in a video but it does have a pretty good arch to the roof there for better water runoff and also extra height here for the taller customer and they're walking around in here got a couple speakers inside here ducted air conditioning system you can see your smoke detector there some cabinetry there sofa does fold out into a full-size bed so a couple adults could sleep on that and even a couple adults could sleep on that dinette so you could sleep five or six people in here pretty comfortably if you needed to Going back through this door here, you are into the bathroom area. And you can see the different color wood that they use in the bathroom area here. Has the nice corner shower with the radius glass enclosure there. There's a skylight up above. You have the foot flush toilet. Quite a bit of storage space in here also. The shelves on the right there are adjustable so you can raise or lower them. There's actually three of them there. And then you have a hanging closet on the left. It's got quite a bit of storage in this bathroom. And down here you can see even a little pull out drawer behind the toilet. Now, another little unique feature to this floor plan, I'm going to look around the other side of the wall here real quick, but behind the toilet, there's dead space. So rather than just leave it dead space, they put a little hole in the side of the wall so you could store stuff back there. It's great for, say, a cat litter box or throw your shoes and stuff like that back in there. So I always get that question on this model is, what is that hole for? It's just a hole for whatever you want to use it for, basically, right there. On the side of the wall there, you will find your gas water heater switch, your water pump, and your monitor panel there. There is a roof vent in here and it has a small fan in it you can upgrade those to a larger fan if you wanted this customer chose not to but that is available in the bedroom there is also another roof vent in the bedroom but it does not have a fan in it and there was a roof vent back in the kitchen area there too This area is pretty cool, 60 by 80 queen bed. A lot of campers have a short queen, but this is a full size queen. So really nice for the taller customer. You have a hanging closet on both sides of the bed, a drawer on both sides of the bed. And back in behind each one, you will find some extra area here to store stuff. So you got a little shelf back there, little area right there. And same exact thing over here on the other side. So this is pretty nice to give you some extra room there. 
You can see the new window looking out the front there. Emergency exit or regular opening window if you want it to be. And on the bedroom window here, you have a blackout shade. Now back in the living room area, it had the roller shades, which were blackout shades also, but they're roller shades, a little different back there, except for the one right behind the stove. That is a standard metal mini blind. Now there's TV hookups here. If you wanted to do a TV up here in the bedroom, you can do a flat screen, mount it to the wall right there. But plenty of room to walk around the bed, be able to get out of the shower, go to your bedroom, get dressed, or even get dressed in the shower area if you wanted to. But a uh, little different stuff here. Storage underneath the bed. The bed is on shocks, so it will hold itself up. Again, be sure to like, subscribe, and share if you want to check out some more of my videos. Um, All About RVs is my YouTube. Be sure to check me out, CouchesRVNation.com, toll-free number 888-417-8299. My direct extension is 203. Again, Ray with Couches RV Nation.